Haley Deegan's rookie year in Xfinity is just not going very well. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Turns out the Haley Deegan Xfinity experiment just isn't going very well. It's a bad idea at this point. Like the Geo Metro is a bad idea or investing in anything Elizabeth Holmes was doing is a bad idea or letting Zack Snyder direct literally anything is a bad idea. Haley Deegan in the Xfinity series has just turned out to be a bad idea. So how do we even get to this point? Well, Take a trip back with me to 2022, and Haley Deegan made her Xfinity Series debut at Las Vegas in the fall, and she recorded a 13th place finish. Really strong run. She looked really competitive, and everybody was like, get her into the Xfinity Series. These cars suit her driving style better. Get her out of the truck series. She's in bad equipment down there. She's just stuck in the beehive every week, and she can't ever make any progress. So first off, she was in really good equipment, race winning equipment. The teams that she was at, David Gillen racing at the time, which is now known as Tricon, and then over at Thor Sport, both won races while she was there, both contended for championships. So to say that she was in bad equipment in the truck series is laughable. She continually put herself in bad spots by having bad qualifying efforts, and then she gets stuck back in the squirrel's nest and, you know, uh, ends up getting wrecked half the time or puts herself in a bad position, wrecks herself, whatever. So everybody got their wish. People that were like, she needs to go to the Xfinity series. That's where she's going to prove what she can do. Okay, great. 2024, she's going to do a full Xfinity Series schedule with AM Racing in that number 15 car, taking the spot of Brett Moffitt last year. Great. It's a Ford program. Brett Moffitt last year drove it to a 17th place finish in the points. He had a top five, nine top tens. Looked really competitive. So Haley should be able to slot in and, and kind of replicate that, right? Or at least build toward it. Wrong. Up to this point of the season, her Xfinity Series rookie year has been disastrous, to say the least. She is 27th in driver points, last amongst drivers that have started all 16 races. To make matters worse, she's only two points ahead of Ryan Truex, who has started only six of those 16 races. She's 37 points behind Eric Almirola, who's only started five races, and Carson Quapel, who's only started four races and has only ever made four Xfinity Series starts, is only 35 points behind her, or 36 points behind her. It just is not worth Working out for Haley Deegan here, and her results have been really bad as well. She only has two top 15 finishes, eight finishes of 30th or worse. And now, for if you're doing math at home, eight of the 16 races, that's half. Half of the races, she has finished 30th or worse. She has an average finish of 26.8, which, okay, we can find a bright spot here because her average start is 28.9. So she does have a net positive gain of two positions from her average start to her average finish. So we found a positive in this season that has just not looked very good up to this point. This past weekend at New Hampshire, she just kind of looked a bit lost out there. And you, again, like the Xfinity series, the truck series, when you get stuck in the back, you race around guys that typically don't have very good race craft. They're running into each other. They forget to break for the corner. They're like, all right, this is an oval. We do have to turn left at the end of the straightaway. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, car in front of me, bam, crash. That's seemingly what happens in a lot of these races at the back with some of these guys that are out there who have I probably have no business being out there. But much like the truck series, she's still stuck in the back around the squirrels. And what happens when you hang out back there? You get wrecked or you end up putting yourself into a bad position. So the only way you get out of that is by qualifying better and running better. And she just seemingly has not grasped the handle of this car the same way she hasn't grasped the handle of the truck at this point. And don't get me wrong. I think Haley Deegan certainly has driving talent. I just don't think that it's to the level that maybe some people think or are expect it to to be at so as you look for like what can possibly you know what can she possibly do going forward and i think the guys on door bumper clear this week actually brought up a really good idea and their thought process was well if she has say a million and a half dollars in budget instead of buying a full season of ride of a ride over at AM Racing and paying for that seat for the whole year. Why not take that million and a half dollars and then just buy like seven, 10 races at Stuart Haas Racing and try to get into much more competitive equipment and show people what you can do. And honestly, I think that's probably the way to do it. We've seen a number of different drivers bet on themselves, whether it be a Ryan Priest or John Hunter Nemechek. Those guys have bet on themselves. They went back down to a lower series. They, you know, optimized the budget that they had and then they parlayed that into a Cup Series ride so maybe she should consider doing that because right now what she's doing at am racing just isn't working and of course there's obviously a stigma around getting out of a race car and only running a partial schedule but like even with ryan truex he would love to have a full schedule but he kind of knows that he's going to optimize the budget that he has and the relationship that he has to run a partial schedule in the xfinity series for gibbs and be in contention to win races which he has done obviously the last two years at dover
So for Haley, maybe that's the direction she goes because she did look good in that ride that she had for the Las Vegas race back in 2022 when she finished 13th. And that was a much more competitive race car than what she's currently in now at AM Racing. That was basically a Stuart Haas car that she was in back then. So maybe there is some thought that if she does get into a better ride, she can have, you know, a better result that comes out of that. Now, of course, I do think that she struggles with setup and feedback and kind of telling the team what she needs out of the race car. And when you look at it, she's probably been rushed along too much throughout her career. I'm not making excuses. It's just an observation. When you take a look at it for a person that's only ever, you know, basically had three seasons of pavement racing up to that point and two of those being arca west and then the arca series getting thrown right into the truck series and then into the xfinity series three years after that just ah, that's a struggle that's that's a hard curve to try to handle right there so when she raced in arca west she won three races of course but she drove for mcanally and that ha that's obviously the best equipment out there especially for arca west and i think like we've talked about here multiple times that in certain situations with a handful of drivers that we've certainly seen over the last few years really good equipment can mask the inefficiencies of the driver and i think this is a perfect example of that because in arca west she looked really good and then you move her up to the arca series as a whole and she looks okay but that's a really weak arca field and then they immediately thrust her right into a truck series ride at david gillen racing and that's essentially what three years into her pavement racing journey at that point I mean, you're just so far behind the curve at that point because she just hasn't ever had the the time to learn the, you know, the intricacies and the handling of a race car, what she's looking for out of the race car. And at times they certainly hit it, right? She had some decent runs in truck every now and then. Uh, she obviously had that 2022 Xfinity Series race that everybody wants to continue to cite as her having the talent. But when you get down to it, uh, we're just not seeing that same sort of output now. And obviously she's, she has a sponsor. They bought that ride. She's going to be there as long as the sponsor wants to be there. But I still go back to the fact that probably going down to a a partial schedule and a more competitive car is probably the approach that she should be taking because right now, 27th in points, last amongst all the regular drivers, is just a bad look overall. And I just don't see it getting better at this point. So uh, obviously at some point, there there's a breaking point. You either, you know, sponsorship dollars dry up and you go bust like we've seen with a number of drivers or the team just eventually is like ah we're just going to move on at this point but obviously the team's going to keep you know cashing the check if they can so yeah when you get down to it Haley Deegan's Xfinity Series season this year as her rookie has been absolutely disastrous and unfortunately I just don't see it getting any better for her and it might be time to just pull the plug on it and and move on and you know I think maybe regressing and moving back down to a lower series to try to work your way back up is maybe the way to go I know that just isn't what a lot of race car drivers want to do though so let me know in the comments what you think about Haley Deegan's Xfinity Series season like and subscribe to the channel follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.